So, New Year's. <laughs> New Year's Eve is one of my favorite holidays. You get to play around with makeup, anything goes. So I'm starting off with the brows and I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just taking one of the more taupey shades just to fill in my brows. I actually really like using this for my brows because it makes it um, a bit more darker and the pigmentation is really great. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids, very, very important, major key alert. And I am just gonna prime the top of my lids and the bottom lash line because I'll be adding a bit of shadow. So for my base, I'm taking a peach tone shade, anything similar to my skin tone color, and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid just to make blending easier. Um, I find that it's kind of hard to blend on a sticky base. So I'm taking a medium tan sort of brown shade and I'm applying that to the crease just to kind of map out exactly where I want to add the definition. Then I'm taking this Makeup Forever shadow or a dark warm brown and I'm adding that to my crease with a Zoeva with this. I don't know what any of these Zoeva brushes are. Um, I'm gonna put the set the link to the set down below too so you can kind of see what brushes I'm using so make sure to blend everything is seamless there are no harsh edges and yeah so I'm taking the black and I'm adding a bit of the black to the outer corner just to really really smoke it up it looks really great in photographs if you have a really nice smoky eye I think it just really photographs well but just remember to always blend keep a nice clean blending brush around just so blending is more seamless so smoking that intensify it as much as you want hell you can go for a black smoky eye which is kind of what I'm going for today because it's glittery but either way <laughs> so uh, I'm taking more primer now I wish I would have taken a glue like a glitter glue my fault my bad but I took a primer sticky enough and I'm just adding a bit of this makeup forever black glitter all over my mobile lid and just literally packing it on until I get major pigmentation but like I said if you could get like a glitter glue that would be perfect and just make sure that you're using a glitter that is safe for the eye area you don't want to just use some <laughs> craft glitter and go blind so uh, taking a bit of black again and just getting it smoky 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 now that I have the glitter in place you might have to go and add some more glitter it might fall out I mean mine fell out like I said because I used a primer and that's my bad but whatever uh, so then I'm taking the cover effects this is the illuminating primer and I am going to just add that all over my face now for the eyes um, one of the clips kind of got lost so I just did a wings liner and I added a bit of a warm brown to the top of the eye like right above the crease just to warm it up a bit but that's all I did that's all you missed then I'm taking these house of lashes featherette lashes and a thin thin coat of the benefit there real mascara and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on these lashes they're super easy to apply I love how thick and fluttery they are and they just sort of enhance the cat shape that I'm going for so popping those on and I'm using the makeup forever lash glue which is actually insanely really good almost too good to the point where like I kind of pull off lashes when I take them off but uh, <laughs> I'm taking a black gel liner just to clean that up and then I'm taking a sort of what is that like beige oh my god I can't think of words right now yeah taking a beige to my eye to my brow bone words what are words to my brow bone and then I'm taking the benefit professional and I'm just patting that in where I need it um, I don't really need a professional everywhere especially since I use the aluminum primer and then I'm taking this Mac I think it's uh, studio Fit. I don't know Mac products so <laughs> uh, you'll see the title of what it is but I'm just blending that in and that's just gonna kind of be the base to brightening my under eye you'll see that I'm gonna build up on this later. Let's just buff that in. Do 
do you guys like these longer videos or do you guys like quicker videos? Because my attention span, like if I could do a video, if I could edit a video, like a full length video in 30 seconds, that would be so ideal. But if you guys like the longer videos, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make uh, some longer sort of video, like talk through videos. So I'm taking my NARS, it's the weightless foundation and I'm just sort of buffing slash doubling this on with another Zoeva brush, which I absolutely freaking love because it just, it makes the foundation just look flawless. It's crazy good, this brush. So, uh, yeah, just slipping that on, trying to get my skin as perfect as possible, especially since you want it to photograph well. Then I'm taking this pure, it's a contour stick foundation. It has two sides, it's a light side and a darker side. So I'm taking the light side and I'm just sort of highlighting. Uh, you guys know I'm not super into that like really obvious highlighting Thing. So I, I like something that's more similar to my skin tone just to brighten up a bit and I'm just applying this to the, uh, the lower jawline area so that my contour will look a bit more intense. So then I'm just stippling this on with a nice stiff brush. I think this brush is from uh, is Japanese? No, this is from Pure Minerals, I think. Yeah. So I'm just taking up Pure Minerals. This is a contour brush though and I'm just stippling it on because I like the shape of the brush. It really just fits into the corners of my face so what are your plans for New Year's I am going to a beach bonfire which is pretty exciting because I've never um, I've always done something super formal for New Year's so yeah let me know what you guys are doing for New Year's too I actually really really love it so I'm thinking the contour side of this stick and I'm just kind of sticking it where I want to create a bit of shadow. Um, this stuff is super pigmented too. Like, it's a foundation, but I'm using it sort of, you know, to contour and highlight. But the pigmentation is really, really awesome. So I'm being very light-handed with this product. So, <laughs> Just buffing that in and if you guys ever I wish you guys could hear the conversations that I have with my uh, my videographer he's so funny so I'm taking this Chanel bronzing um, this is a tan de soleil and I'm just buffing that in I actually really really love this product it makes your skin look so awesome and it buffs in like a dream. It doesn't look like you're you have a you know like a heavy bronzer on. So love that. Taking that down the sides of my nose, just to just for photographs. That's my main concern. Is like <laughs> is what it will look like in a photograph. So cute little butt nose. And I'm taking this Bobbi Brown. This is a long wear stick in sunlight gold. And then I'm taking this professional powder, which I didn't even know they had. And I'm just applying this to my under eye area and anywhere I get a bit shiny and I want to fill in some pores. And yeah, I actually really like this powder. I hate the packaging though, because it, you have to dump the powder into a little skinny lid. But anyway, so I'm taking this, uh, this is a ColourPop. <laughs> this is a ColourPop uh, derp, 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 lip liner uh, in Aquarius, and I'm filling my entire li or lib lip with that. And I'm taking the Ultra Matte Lippy in uh, Platform, just the center to create like a more pouty pout pout. And uh, then I'm gonna take this. So this is Taurus, uh, the ColourPop Taurus, and I'm just taking that. I'm creating like a ombre lip so I'm just lining the outer edge of my lip and then I'm sort of darkening the inner corners and it'll look really great and pouty and sexy make your lips look a little, a little bit more full not that I need that but you know so just doing that and then I take a little brush just to blend it in so I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury or just a brown sort of satin eyeshadow and I'm applying that to the lower lash line for a little bit of definition and yeah, I'm keeping it, I mean, it's a little glamorous, but keeping it pretty simple. So I'm taking a Japanese blush in this really nice sort of brown. I love this blush color, I wear it every day. It's like a bronzer, but it's blush, it's so pretty. So I'm thinking of Real Techniques, this is a Bold Metals um, 
brush I put the info down below too and I'm just patting that in cheekbones for life and then making sure to buff it out so that way I don't have any harsh edges show it Tilbury bronze and glow my favorite highlighter at the moment and I'm just applying this to my cheekbones and anywhere I want highlight for God so uh, yeah and I actually really like this brush too it's another bold metals brush I, I just got a ton of new brushes and they make me very excited <laughs> so I'm taking this on my uh, tip of my nose bridge of my nose and anywhere that highlight is super perfect Understand? How is it so good? And then I'm taking that on the top of my lip too, my Cupid's bow. So I'm taking a ColourPop eyeliner, and I'm lining my bottom waterline, and then dragging that out to my wing, so that way you can kind of see it, even when I don't know. It, I just I just wanted to do it. So <laughs> take a little bit of blush from. Charlotte Tilbury and just I wanted a little bit more of like a pinky this one's more pink and shimmery so I just add a little bit of that just for a little bit of something cute and then taking a, a big big clean brush making sure that everything is nice and blended and we're all done so I love you guys thank you so much for awesome awesome 2015 you guys have changed my life I love you <laughs> Until next time. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>